All right, good morning. Uh, uh, this is going to be a little tutorial on uh, base setup. Uh, maybe to help some people. This is GPS. All right, let me get the collector. I made one the other day. But um, our tripod is missing a... We have to use a screw on one of the legs and I, it kept coming out and I wanted to make a condensed version more to the point, so. All right, I should have started this video a few minutes later. And I want to tilt my GoPro a little differently. Turn that on. All right, first you want to get your collector. Tremble, it's just gonna load up. Go ahead and be. This is the R12. Here's our rod. I always put, you see, it has a quick connect on the end. Um, I always screw this on first. My partner, he does it the opposite, but you know, everybody's different. To me, this is easier. It's easier to screw this off than I don't know, it's just the way I do it. All right, let's see. All right, this benchmark here has been set for a while. I'm just going to set up on it. Oh, let's see. Right, all right. Just right here, pop that open. There's two batteries. Now, to check the battery, I charged it last night, obviously. You hit that button there, fully charged. There's my backup, fully charged. Put it in upside down. You feel it click, close it. There's your antenna. I mean, you could put your antenna on after you put it on there, but I do this. Instead of trying to spin around with the antenna on it, it's just easier for me this way. But you could do this and then put the antenna on it. doesn't matter. Whatever your preference. And I'm listening, I'm just turning it to. Alright. Okay, let's turn it on and turn that on. So I got everything out of there. Put this box up for now. I had a one at the conference at Lake Gunnersville. One little package. All right, but we set our R12s up with this Spectra here. It's a Spectra 80 base. Here's the antenna. Here's that dreaded screw that we have to make use of. I haven't got that fixed yet. There's that, and those are two backup batteries. We did have the complete R12 set up, but the Northern crew Got to complain in. I didn't even get the dome out. <laughs> that dome, that piece. Dome, there's the dome. There's the, right, now. So you can figure to where the R12 rover will use it. Like, is it going to be as good as the R12 was? No, it's nowhere near as good. It's better than the R8, so I will admit that. The complete R12 setup, anybody out there that hears this, get it. It is worth it. It will get fixed in areas that, I mean, I swear I could be in my room and have a steel roof and, get, and it would get fixed with like two and five numbers. Not really, but it's really good. This ain't bad, but in comparison, you give somebody something that was absolutely amazing and then take it away. And then whenever I can't get a fix on this, it's like, you know, we had to just spend the money. I know this equipment's expensive, trust me, I know, but it would pay for itself pretty quick. I mean, of all the collectors out there, this is the one we have. Look at that. I mean, 
It's got to be one of the better collectors on the market. All right. And make sure that's screwed in tight. And then that slides in there. Make sure it goes all the way in. It's got a little tightener right there. You tighten. I'll do that. All right. Now let's see. I'm going to cut it on. All right. Wait, let it be loading up. I lose it like a Takes a second like a computer. There's our control. Alright, this is CDGBM1. This is the first benchmark I, this, I set this benchmark back in like January. That's how long this job has been going on. Not continuous, but. And there's the screw over there. I, I do it last. Alright. That a little bit, take that, go down, use that. Especially if it's windy, make sure you you hold that and you push it in the ground. Make sure it's, that's in there good, especially on windy days. This right here knob here is messing up too. It stays kind of tight, but. I need to get it repaired too. I mean, it's just normal maintenance, I guess. It beats around in the back of a truck all day. All right, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna grab my screw. This is the aggravating part right here. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put it in. Loosen that up. Make sure it's on there good. A lot of times I'll lean it this way. Alright, let's go for it. I'll pull that down. If you don't watch it, it'll pop off. I didn't do it. Let's make sure when I stomp in the ground, I don't do it. I have to loosen that a little bit. Some hard ground. Do. Okay, that's uh well I need to keep it loose to level. And this around. I see a little bubble, you're gonna now take the this and this. I almost feel like it ain't lying in but just because it's loose. Get it level. I'm gonna have to kind of redo it a little bit. Right, that's level. Uh, you go around, you tighten up all your screws. That one there. Right, tighten your screws up. Tighten that up. Tighten this one up. This is where it's gonna probably knock it off level a little bit. It's so, so. It's a little more normal, but. You can kind of just turn these things left and right a lot of times to get it right when you need it. Shitty trick I do. My partner, he never thought about it, but I mean, ain't no rocket science or nothing. But that's good and level. Everything's tight. That should be loaded. All right, now we come over here. Get the collector. This is the wrong. Why do I keep grabbing the wrong collector? <laughs> oh, I never did go and get the GPS collector. All right. Where is it? Maybe it's on the seat. Oh, there it is. So I was trying to make a condensed version of the video I made the other day. This one I ain't even on, so now I gotta let it boot up. But yeah, 
To begin with, we topo this whole road. It makes a big loop. They're putting in an access road. And then we flew the drone over um, all of this. Technology is really taking over surveying. Okay. Let's go. Escape. Oh. All right. The house is already open. So we're going to go to measure 80 base because that's spectra, spectra base. 80 base, start base receiver. So now it's just connecting to, to that. I have a bad habit, I'll take that and walk it up to this. You really don't have to be that close. All right. This is CDGVN1, but on the spectrum, you got to put RTCM0003. Point name does not exist. Yes, it does. Why is it saying that? Board and survey. Hit that button there, pan to here. See, oh shit, see? That's why you do a check shot, see? I, that was totally my mess up there. Measure, 80 base, start base receiver. All right, RTCM0001, see? Start. Base is started. Let's go measure the base, measure points. And now it's going to actually, this right here is what starts the survey. And always when you get it set up, check to make sure it's still on that die because it will get bumped off. This one's not painted, but I prefer to like, I usually throw a little spray paint on mine. Nobody else does. That comes from my seismic days. It's always at 90% you know, to get there and then you're like, hold your breath. Like, Come on. It's on there. I know everything's on. There it goes. All right, now, just, uh, stake out points. Let's go to, this is what I do. Zero 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 one. Make it BM one. This area is just to make sure you didn't put a number wrong, because you deal with numbers so much all day, you don't get. I swear I'm dyslexic sometimes by the end of the day. Just to let you know that's the right one, but I'm still gonna do a check. So that's the base setup. Um, I might make one when I had to do my check, and then. Put them together. See nothing to it. Uh, legs, they see in there, there. Make sure the dome is all the way in, just tight, that. Um, make sure you're on the right nail. Make sure you put in the right nail because it will let you start surveying. Even if you, um, that point name did not exist, but just say I'd have put in one that did, it still would have started let me survey and it would have just been a catastrophe. But anyway, all right, I'm gonna go do a check shot. And then y'all see on the collector, you just go measure, measure, oh, well, base is starting to have 80 up there. 80, um, start base receiver right there. Um, our base receiver and then go to measure stake. You can do stake out and it'll start it too if you want to just stake out to that point. But uh, it's definitely confusing if you're a newbie. It's confusing to me and I'm not a newbie anymore. But uh, I mean, that's it, I guess. I mean, if you want to see, there's here's the job so far. I mean, look at that. That's what we have done. All of them are points. That's a busy highway right there. 
and that's what I did. I did that yesterday. That's some terrace rows. But anyway, I won't make this video any longer. All right.